set frame zero tool is very useful if you have your animation and let's say you are very far away from the frame zero and we want to change something um, on your animated element um, for example in this case i have these three icons uh, blocking here and i would like to align this icon like this with the others i don't want to go into frame zero and align it there because um, it, it, everything could be moved here in my animation let's say let's consider i don't have a year frame uh, 79 but i have some frame like 700 something so um uh, everything is animated everything is in another position as i had in frame zero i want to change something and i want to change it as i'm seeing it correctly here but moho automatically creates an animation for me i want to have this animation here because now it goes from top to down and it could you know it could be very messy so what i can do is just change my position as i want it and then just select the keyframe i would like to um not being animated and i hit here set frame zero and it will ask me like should i delete the animation before or everything even after so i say only before in this case and what it does it basically looks at my um what i selected it was the position and i look at my position went into the frame zero copy that position there went back and delete that keyframe so basically it saves your time going back into the frame zero and copying your animation there so you have it at your time at your um, basically uh, position and um, you if you if I would have some after animation here uh, it wouldn't mess it up so um, but it, I can also use this option there uh, delete all and then it will delete everything from my channel um, which I haven't selected um, so uh, another example would be like I have used some kind of like rotation and let's say I, would um, I should have here such a rotation like this and here it should be rotated uh, like that and you can see it's it's rotating here and I would like to start with this rotation I already have here so I just select this keyframe I go here and I say no all I just want to use this before because I want to keep this animation what will happen here so I just go like this and now you can see it, it just kept this animation there um, but in the in this case uh, the more logical way would be like go like this and say all and now you can see it's just there so I hope you understand what what this tool is all about especially when you are working on projects where you have hundreds and thousands of keyframes and you have to change or move something uh, which you don't want to be animated this tool is very useful for you.